start though. Can't thank you enough for the subscription love. If this video does not resonate, I do have 200 plus more uploaded, so another one may. Fun fact for those um, of any sign who wonder if someone is being as um, faithful, um, putting in those faithful points, as faithful as you are, that is, um, Venus and Jupiter in the 7th, 8th, or 12th houses are anti-loyalty when it comes to love. That's the 7th house of relationships, the 8th house of sex, death, and taxes, and the 12th house of secrets. So that's a, a nice little fun fact. Aries. You are feeling lucky when it comes to getting something that you want. These vibrations of complete satisfaction for the most part. And that's because you have met at least one goal within that arena. And you're in a position to decide about something having to do with you standing out and being principled. So that's going to be a choice. Um, and you know, it's going to reflect on you tremendously, Aries. No matter what you decide, you're making something look exceptionally easy to a sign, a water sign, in fact of Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And that's probably because you are being driven by an example from a sign that is this water sign. So it's a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer individual. Your person, your romantic interest, is coming across as being driven by someone who is a sign of earth. So this is an earth sign, but this person has this example of, and this person is driven, trying to um, do things in a similar fashion as a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, possibly because this person wants the same types of results, has the same beliefs, or looks up to this individual. Fully releasing your ambition and courage can diminish stress in career-related areas such as um, ones where wisdom um, is urgently imperative to have. So that's coming in here as well let me get a little bit more clarity about what's going on here so what this tells me is that there is energy concerned with a sign of taurus 
Um, this person is helping you as you manifest something in a fantastic way, a very fantastic way, um, because they are cooperative. That's your mood there it is. There's a saying, um, a Jamaican saying that goes, "Wanny wanny, see you get it, giddy giddy, nah, I want it." That's like basically saying that you may not want something after you have it. So be careful to consider that, keep that in mind um, as you go for the gut. So like go for things that you want. Um. You don't want to lose your soul, definitely. Um, well, many of you probably won't. That's what I'm feeling over something that is here today, gone tomorrow. You want it today, and then you don't want it tomorrow. People are so intricate as well. Um, and sometimes, you know, you don't know what you're asking for, and sometimes you get over your head. Um, I'm saying that... Um, so that you have your um, light bulb moments and you think about what it means for you and if that caters to you or not. Um, it could be that you're meant to pass that on to someone else, um, however that is coming up. Um, so I wanted to touch on that as well. If you liked this upload, Please subscribe and share. And until next time.